firstly what you want to do is you want to um, undo the motherboard from the casing to do that you want to remove these uh, these security security screws with your star end just want to um, Stop on doing this. What might be a good idea is uh, there is a software program which you need to download uh, onto your desktop. It's um, the JR Programmer software. If it's a free download, if you Google it, um, you'll find a link. I'll put the link down in the description for you to download that onto your um, computer because you'll need that a couple of times. <sighs> Screws are easy to undo. It just comes out like that. So this is the first time, the first time install for myself. Um, so we're, if this is the first time install for you as well, we're both going through this together. Um, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I mean, all the jargon, technical talk, which people talk about is, um, can get a bit over, over, um, overpowering really so what you want to do you want to take off this front clip put that out of the way and we've got this front part here you want to take off again using your star It's so, um, quite a long process uh, doing this whole thing. Um, I'd say you want to set aside a couple of hours, really, all in all, to be able to get the whole thing done together, done all in all. All right, so that's the last screw. You want to take off. So this should unplug just like a USB kind of port. Put that aside. Then you're left with your um, left with the board ideally what you want to do is you want to uh, lift it out of the casing remove the casing because you're going to need to um, there's a couple of wires which you need to solder to the bottom of the board Oops, <laughs> a bit careless. <clears throat> right, so there we have it. Okay, so I had to skip a few because it was taking uh, quite some time for me to get a knack of it again. But if you can see, I've got 
all the top wires in. Ground and power and stuff. Next challenge is to put the C wire in. All the all the descriptions and um, details and links I will put all in the um, all in the description just to make it a lot easier for you um, if you want to tackle it yourself. If not, um, I am doing a sending a sending service where you can send me in your Xbox. And I will um, install the Ace V3 chip for you, uh, program it, and I could possibly I could also put all the menus and dash launches that you'll need on there for you as well. So um, I'll leave all the description in the link. But for now, let's get back to uh, finishing off. So you want to put a little bit of flux onto the point. So it's um, on this bar here, you've got one, two, three, four. <coughs> want to put a little bit of flux. I've already put flux on there and pre-soldered uh, that little bit. bit. Uh, I've also cut this wire down to size and um, soldered the end of the wire as um, it's very tiny and technical as you can see so then you want to solder this end to where you've just added uh, that part I would say that was on. Okay. Maybe just uh, once you do it, you should never, never uh, go try and make it better. It's done. It's done. <laughs> this is not easy. Right, that for me, that is good enough. That is good enough. Then what you want to do, <coughs> you want to take your glue gun and plug it in. some hot glue uh, to stick this wire down so it doesn't go anywhere should have had that already already done so once that's done I will come right back Just gonna 